This is us making our precision black off wheels. Um, these wheels have been all separated. These are flaws, no fours. Took a wheel. It's a raw wheel, hasn't had anything done to it yet. First thing we're gonna do is put it in our lathe. And of course, because I'm doing it on video, it's gonna be a little bit harder. There it goes. Tighten that bad boy down. Okay, turn my machine on. I mount my spindle right there where it's going to throw the flood coolant. Turn the bad boy on. Looks like it's spinning right. Shut the hammer. It's going to be kind of messy. Start the cycle. Yeah, it does stuff like that. Let me see if I can get a better, closer view inside there. And this program takes roughly I don't remember how long it takes, I'm not gonna lie. A little bit over a minute. Now we move it pretty slow speeds. I move it 0 0.30 inches per minute. Yeah, I know, I probably shouldn't tell people that. It is what it is. Now it's just like super messy and really can't see anything. Except the super mess. Right now the program is Plunging into the front of the wheel. You can hear it's getting close to removing the material. Now it's going to draw towards the center hub. And then it should be done. Coolant will turn off. I'll turn the spindle off. Looks like it's done rotating. Sorry about that. And if you can tell, you can see the, like the little itty bitty milling marks that we've started a cut right outside the now let's get some light right outside the edge taper cut to the back draw across the front and that's how we lighten the wheel when we do that it gives it a little flex as you can see so you kind of got to be a little careful with these don't manhandle them when you're pulling out the axles meaning that when you have the axle installed into your body don't grab it by the wheel and pull out you want to grab it by the axle head. So there's some tools to do that. Thank you for your time.